So the last time we did screen capture, it wasn't very good, and I've been uh, poking around on my screen capture software. So I hope uh, I hope this is much better than before. Uh, so this video is kind of a test to make sure the screen capture is okay. So this is the board as as was sent out. Uh, it has some uh, uh, ground ground fills, and um, so we can zoom in, take a look at some of these. Here's the uh, here's the program counter. Um, it has two counter chips. Uh, it says 160 here, but those are the BCD variety. We're going to use 163s, which are the uh, binary version and uh, the exact same pinout. So uh, for some reason, Eagle didn't have a 163 footprint, but it did have 160. So use that instead. And then uh, the uh, tri-state buffer is a 541. It's hard to read here, but it's a 541. So counters and buffer. The RAM is a 573 octal D-type flip-flop latch. And then the RAM chip itself uh, is a Cypress part, part number CY62256. It's a 256K RAM chip. Uh, some bypass caps. Uh, here's the... Uh, uh, indicators. Uh, I don't like. I don't like. Uh, I don't like this layout. Didn't turn out very good. I do like these. They're very pretty. Work very nice in my setup in the garage. They solder very well. And then uh, the registers are. Uh, this is just a duplicate copy of this. Um, if you want to duplicate things on the board, uh, you don't need to relay it out. You can actually do a copy over and it's a bit complicated go online search for it there's some videos to show you how to do it you actually have to create a copy of the file go into the copy uh, create a uh, block area then do a cut command and then open up the old file the one that you want to cut pop, uh, paste into and then you can do a paste and it brings it over it's the only way to do it you can't do a copy paste within the same file it doesn't work but you can you can do a cut and copy from one file to another file. Uh, the registers are a 573 and D-type flop latch and uh, the intermediary bus and then a 541 tri-state buffer that sends it back out again. So let's take a look at the schematic. Okay, here's the schematic. We can zoom in here. Uh, this is the RAM, uh, the address latch. Uh, you clock a RAM address right, and you can set uh, an 8-bit address. goes into the RAM. I had to scramble the pins here to make the board layout easy. It doesn't really matter for counting up or counting down the RAM. RAM doesn't care <laughs> as long as the date is correct. Um, but that laid, made the board layout really, really easily. And then we're not using much of the RAM, uh, so there's a bunch of address lines that are just uh, tied low. And then RAM, you can either do a read or a write, and that's it. Uh, the register is very, very simple. Uh, you have also a uh, latch, uh, so you can uh, latch the data, look at the intermediate value, and then if you want to bring that back out to the bus, there's a tri-state buffer. So there's a register write, into the uh, D-type flip-flop and then register read from the Octobus. And the uh, register itself, the output is always enabled. So that's grounded. So the output's always always, always uh, active. Uh, here are the uh, indicators. I use 1K resistors. And here's the program counter. Uh, again, use 163 chips. Uh, you can preset the count for a jump instruction and presetting is a load and uh, the load uh, says program counter right. So um, you put in a count. You can increment the count and um, then you can read the output of the count 
with a tri-state buffer, again, 541. So pretty simple. And then the only other thing you need is a, a few uh, bypass capacitors, a couple tantalums and some other you know, 0.1 or 0 .0, 0.01 microfarad capacitors. So uh, there you go. Am I still not capturing correctly? <laughs>